You're Live with BBC News. A new study has found that one in eight of the world's population are now classed as obese. That is more than a billion people overall. The World Health Organization says that governments and the food industry need to support efforts to reduce obesity, particularly in young people. In the UK, obesity rates have doubled in the last 30 years. All over the world, we're getting larger. The authors of this study say they are shocked by how fast obesity levels have risen since 1990. And they're urging governments to get serious about a health problem linked to heart disease, diabetes and some forms of cancer. So how did they measure us? By looking at our BMI, or body mass index, which is calculated using a person's height and weight to work out whether they're under or overweight. The data showed that childhood and teenage obesity had more than quadrupled from 31 million in 1990 to almost 160 million in 2022. Among adults, almost 880 million were obese in 2022, four and a half times as many as in 1990. That's more than a billion people now classed as obese. Asia and the Caribbean have the fastest rising rates. In Europe and North America, where obesity has been a health problem for longer, levels aren't rising so fast, but they aren't sinking either. Many of these children and, and, and young people are going to be living with obesity for uh, unless something is done about it for the majority of their life. And, and to the best that we know for many outcomes of obesity, uh, the length of being uh, affected by it uh, matters. The World Health Organization says governments and the food industry should make healthy food cheaper, restrict the advertising of foods high in fat, sugar or salt, and support physical activity and good nutrition in schools. The new weight loss drugs might be useful as part of a healthy diet, it says, but they're not the solution to global obesity. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Geneva.